Hey guys, Cooper Trooper here, um, back with some Sekiro. I should have pronounced that, but <laughs> it's a really fun game, uh, very Dark Soul esque, and right up my alley. So I decided to make a little uh, tutorial walkthrough, um, just some tips and tricks for the uh, Emma, Emma boss. Um, she's very hard at the beginning, but once you get a moveset down, she's really easy and. I was able to flawless her because uh, you're going to want your resurrection and all your gore for the next boss coming up. So fighting her uh, and getting her flawless is really good. Um, so one of the most annoying moves is that grab because I always try to jump over it and <laughs> it never works. It rarely works and sometimes I get lucky and it'll work. But, uh, if she does that side, if she winds up with blade and gets low to the ground, she's going to try to side lunge at you, or slash at you. If you don't start parrying that, you're just going to get into a wombo combo. And if she clicks in that blade like she did there, she's going to do a side attack and then down attack. You can kind of dodge it with invisibility frames, but there's another way around it that's actually very useful. If you just attack her before she actually starts her animation, she will cancel and try to block your attack. But if you don't, uh, if you start your animation, you just either mash left bumper or try to you know dodge out of it. Um, I haven't got a perfect parry on it. I don't know if you can. Yeah, I did it again. I try to come attack her after she started her animation, and it's never gonna work. So there's a side lunge that you can um, in double double jump on her just to get some. Yep, did it again. You can double jump on her just to, you know, get her uh, posture up a bit. Just don't be too greedy with it. Um, give her, or, you know, take what she gives you. Just try to jump over the, the grab there again. Uh, and following up the grab, she will try to do a side slash at you. Um, just time your roll out of when you fall down on the ground, and you should be okay with it. Or if you get up too fast, then um, try to pocket but uh gym so i won't be off the ground for a bit and that attack right there if you parry that successfully perfect parry she will be staggered just like you kind of are um, and make sure to get those uh thrust attack postures that is really good uh to get her posture up uh, main reason i was able to follow her because she came out of the gate with that and i didn't love pressure but she goes with another grab and then another side stream. Um, if you are resurrected or you fall down from a hard hit, she will try to lunge at you more. So sometimes you can try to bait it out with the gourd, but uh, just be careful. Make sure you have enough distance where she won't be able to hit you on that. Um, this next part is coming up. Uh, it's a little cut to my flawless boss here. She came out to the gate with a lunge. Just simple uh, dodge into it. And get, I keep up the pressure mostly because she doesn't have a lot of punishes. It's right there. I think I should have got grabbed there, but I got pretty lucky. Um, and then the side, I never be, I'm never really able to. Uh, my mind always tells me to jump backwards and stuff onto them. Right here. You can see if I don't perfect parry those, she's winding up her blade ready to attack. So if you don't perfect parry those, be ready just to mash on her. And then, yeah, here, right here, she uh me another freebie. It is again, yeah. But that's great for getting posture if you can uh, parry, parry all those. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing more Sekiro. So make sure to uh, keep an eye on my channel. I'm probably gonna do the boss after her, the old old fart. I don't know what his name is. Ishin or something, but yeah, he's, uh, he's a lot tougher than she is. Same movesets, but uh, just keep a lookout for that video.